There's anger tonight over revelations a dangerous sex offender allegedly breached his conditions within days of being set free. His victim outraged that he hasn't been locked up and fears he'll strike again. One tiny breach is going to lead to a massive breach and there will be another victim. For God's sake, I have had enough. A message from the victim of a dangerous sex offender to the state government. This needs to stop once and for all. Angela Johnston was raped by Warren John Eugle in 2007. She recorded this video after receiving a letter telling her Eugle allegedly breached his supervision order just days after his release last month. This might be a little breach. It will lead to a massive breach. And there, unfortunately... I hope there's not another victim, but that's how I feel that's going to go down that road. Nine News understands the alleged breach relates to the use of cannabis. Despite this, Eugle was granted bail and remains in the community. For him to just be let back out on bail, that's not good enough. Attorney General Michael Mission says proposed changes to the legislation will be introduced to Parliament as a matter of priority early next year. They include doubling the time a dangerous sex offender can be detained between reviews and introducing a three-week delay before their release to ensure the community is aware. They don't go anywhere near far enough, they're very modest, they don't fix the situation we found here. If a person is a serious risk of re-offending, they shouldn't be released no matter what the conditions are. Right now in WA, there are 46 registered dangerous sex offenders. More than half are living in the community under strict supervision orders, but none have committed a sexual offence since being released. Warren Eugle will face court again next month. Ben Hennessy, Nine News.